By then, I can say it. Christine Barnett alleged in an exclusive interview with Daily Mail TV that Natalia had attacked the other kids, poured bleach in her coffee, and threatened to stab the family members and hide their bodies in the backyard. She was standing over people in the middle of the night. You couldn't go to sleep. Prosecutors see things differently, however, accusing the company a couple of felony neglect um, and by endangering the life and health of a dependent and denying her necess necess necessary support and an education. Their case does not strictly hinge on Natalia's age because under Indiana state law, a dependent can be someone who is mentally or physically disabled regardless of the age. However, an affidavit or probable cause does refer to two bone density tests carried out on Natalia at the Peyton Manning Children's Hospital in 2010 and in 2012. The first estimated she was approximately eight years old, while the second suggested that she was approximately 11. Today, Natalia is living with an hour from Indianapolis with a Christian couple and their five kids. Her new dad, 36-year-old Antoine Manns, was recently ordained as a pastor and lives in a former church parsonage with his wife, Cynthia, 39, an ex-McDonald's manager. The devout couple are aware of the questions swirling around Natalia's age but they treat her like a teenager, dressing her in kids' clothes and last month celebrating her 16th birthday. Bishop Manns and his wife appear to have come into Natalia's life between the early 2013 and early 2016 when they lodged an application to become her legal guardian. When Michael filed an objection, the man says sought but failed to overturn it. Hmm. Wow. Um this is, this is just like one of the weirdest stories. Anyways, good God almighty. So, with that being said, she has a different set of parents now. Um, a black father, and it looks like um, a Mexican mother. So, um, I mean, there's a big difference in... Um, it's just amazing. I, I, I mean, this has got to be one of the craziest stories. And they got pictures of her, y'all. So if you get to go to the Daily Mail and check her out, her pictures, um, oh, God. Anyway, Michael Barnett filed an objection, I told you, and he failed, but failed to overturn the court decision that re-aged Natalia. Anna... Meanwhile, hopes Natalia will one day make the 5,500-mile journey to Mykola, a bleak shipbuilding hub that decades earlier built many of the Soviet Union's fear destroyer and submarine. The store worker says Natalia's biological father, Vladdy, whom she reconciled with after her birthday, I mean, after Natalia's birth, has died. Uh, six years ago. But there is a better news. Natalia's older sister, Yulia, 20, is having a baby. Natasha will soon become an auntie. My daughter is pregnant now. She's giving birth in February, Anna said. I would like to tell Anna, I would like to tell Nastasha, um, I would like to tell Nastasha that I really want to see her. I hope that when she turns 18, she goes to Ukraine and finds me. And I would like to hug her and apologize for everything that has happened. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, God. Y'all tell me, what, that's the end of it. Y'all wanted to follow up? There it is. Tell me what you think about it. Feel free to leave your comments below. Little Natalia. She's got new Christian uh, adoptive parents now. And she's the big sister to five. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Okay.